Now let's have a look at the Insert tab in the ribbon, and particularly the Pages group. What you can do is you can apply a cover page to your document. What I'm first of all going to do in the bottom right corner of my status bar is hit the minus so I can see two pages in my document, and this just lets me appreciate what the cover page option does. When I go to the cover page, I can actually click it and see from the gallery that there are a variety of cover pages I can choose from, and I can scroll down through them. If I choose this cover page, for instance, it's just applied this cover page to my document. I can then edit things. And I can also format it to look just the way I want. I might even decide to actually save this cover page to my gallery for future use. So I'm just hitting the minus so I can clearly select what's in this page. So I'm just going to select all this information. I'm going to go back to Insert, back to Cover Page, and I'm going to save the selection to my Cover Page gallery. I'll call it Kathy's Decorating Publication. And OK. If I happen to remove the cover page, cover page, remove the current cover page, and then decide at a later date I want to add my cover page, I'll go to the cover page button and I'll scroll right to the bottom, which is where mine are, and here's my cover page. I click this button and it's automatically applied my cover page. Oops, and an enter, which I'll just delete. All right. You can also insert a blank page. So if I'm sitting here and decide actually that page should be blank, I'll just click the button blank page. And there's my blank page. If I decide I want a page break, perhaps this information start on a new page, I'll press the page break button or press control enter and that'll put a page break in, forcing that to go onto the next page. Now if you decide that you actually like these buttons, the other thing you can do is add them to the Quick Access Toolbar. Now page breaks are something where we do regularly, or should be doing regularly. I don't want to see people going enter, 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 enter to push the text onto the next page. Because all you're doing is inserting a large block of enters, which if you add more text later to the top of the document, that large block of enters will start to move down through the document and cause problems. If I want to be able to insert a page break easily, I might right click this button and add it to my quick access toolbar. And whenever I need a page break, I just click this button and I've got a page break. In fact, any button on the ribbon, you can right click and you can add to your quick access toolbar. You can also easily right click it and remove it if you don't want it.